Oh, that's a box. Oh, we're already hitting the boat. That can't be good. What the? Another something. Whoa, wow. Seriously, you can, you just can't not find something in this spot. Oh, turn the brights on. Flash them. What is going on today, guys? Today we got clear blue skies. It's absolutely gorgeous. We're back out on the boat and today we're gonna be doing some more magnet fishing. Now today we're gonna be magnet fishing a spot that we've only hit one other time now. And we found all kinds of absolutely crazy stuff in a very short time. Let's not waste any time. Let's get right down to it. Start dipping our magnet and see what we can find today. If you guys would like to pick up some merch or you wanna pick up a magnet, those links will be down in the description, guys. All right, guys, today we are back out here once again. I got my large 360 degree magnet with me. Let's get right down to it. Start tossing around and see what we can find today. Here we go, literally first throw of the day. Is that something on there? Or maybe just weeds? No, yeah, we got something. I'm telling you guys, there's so much stuff in here. Very first throw, we already got us a little something. And we definitely found one of these here last time. Not sure exactly what it is, but it's pretty flimsy. And it's got a little hole through the top. I don't know if that's some kind of, maybe a railroad sign. I don't know, but I don't see any writing on there. Just a flimsy disc. That feels a little heavier. Yeah, here we go. Oh, she's swirling and twirling a little bit. What do we got here? Oh, a little circular or something. What the heck is that? Oh, you guys, this looks again like one of those paint lids that we also found here last time. I'm not 100% sure if it's a paint lid or not, but that's what I was calling them last time. That's a funky kind of something. Oh, a little something on, no. Are you serious right now? What is going on with the multiples? I swear, every single thing we found so far today, we literally found one of last time we were here, which is absolutely bizarre because I thought that was like a one of a kind find last time. You guys, if you've seen our last video here, I know you remember this thing. DuPont, now this word on the other one, you couldn't read it because it was scratched out. DuPont Nitromon. That right there shouldn't take no more than a couple second Google search and we should be able to figure out what that is. I can't believe we found another one. Super cool, you guys. Oh, here we go. Is that something stuck in the mud or what? Oh, I see a couple bubbles coming up. <laughs> wow, look at all those bubbles. You guys, this is heavy. This is pretty heavy. I feel like it's gonna slip. It is slipping. No, 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 no. And there it goes. Or no. Dude, what's going on here? I'm still pulling something. I still have a little something on there and some fishing line. Maybe that is part of what I'm pulling on. You guys, there's something on there. But before we look at that, let's see if I can pull in this fishing line. Maybe we'll get a fishing pole. Probably not, but I seen Alex do it once and he pulled up a hundred dollar fishing pole. I kid you not. Nothing on that end. What do we got on this end? Anything? Uh, that's pretty tight. I don't think we're gonna get it. Dude, it's like actually moving. Whatever this fishing line is tied onto is lifting up off the ground. Oh, that's really weird. Okay, how's this not snapping? Oh, it just snapped. No. I was lifting something up. Well, a whole bunch of nothing on the end of that fishing line, but look at how much of it is tangled up in here. It's good to get all that out of there, my goodness. But you guys, look at all the stuff we got on here. Oh man, I was almost, I was really hoping to flip this thing over and see some more cool writing on there, kind of like this one, but no such luck. Almost looks like it's got a green paint tint to it. I don't know if that's just algae or if that is paint. But again, you guys, 
this looks like another one of those paint can lids that you would pry open. It's almost the exact same thing, I want to say. Hey, I didn't even notice this before. Did you guys see that? I did not. What the heck? Definitely a lid if there's a handle on there. But to what? Who knows? Yo, two somethings. And not only that, you guys, but look at this on there too. I noticed this thing right away and we seem to find these all the time. I always say it's like a gas cap, but I don't know if that's actually what that is. It seems like almost everywhere I go, I find one of these. <coughs> Oh, I'm pulling on something. Nice and slow. Is she gonna go? Here it comes. Shut up. This is actually coming up. No, that shouldn't be. Really? Yes. Oh my. Whoa, yo. What the? I don't even know what to think of that. What the heck is that? Oh, you guys, I think I know what this is, man. We still got a big old chunk hanging in the water yet. But I think this is like the frame piece of a 55 gallon barrel. I am pretty sure you guys, look at that's like the bottom piece, no doubt. And if they're keeping oil in that stuff and tossing it in the river, man, that is not good. Immediately, it's like this entire area is loaded. Yeah, there's something on there, man. Every single throw, just about. Ooh, look at this. Oh, what is that? Oh, I thought we caused the old river snake. Nope, just a stick. But there's some fishing line tangled in there, so we're not just gonna toss that one back. But you guys, this thing here that I seen coming up, Look at that. Is that a gear or what is that? I can't really tell. Some kind of fan piece. Never found one of those before. And then I thought I seen something with like a handle. This right here. What the? Oh, wait a minute. There's actually like oh, a couple more things. Oh, some little stuff. First of all, I don't know what to think of this. I thought it was the handle for something. Like the old barbecue tongs. Definitely not what that is. I don't know, maybe some kind of hook. Looks like it broke off of something. Then we had this thing on there. And I thought the way this looked, it might've been like an electrical socket where all your electrical wiring would go. But the more I look at it, I don't know, is that maybe like a, like a drill or not a drill, like a hole driller. No, it couldn't be. There should be teeth on there if that's what that was. I don't know what to think of this thing, you guys. That is pretty funky looking. Then we had this thing on there, you guys. I saw the little gold color or the brass. I don't know what that thing could be. Definitely some threads on there. The old teeny tiny gold something. I don't know what to think about that. Whoa, what is going on here? Is that a, is that one of those catfishing bells? But wait a minute, I think I see more. Looks like just some scrap, you guys, but look at this here. I thought they were just uh, like a catfishing bell, but the way it looks is like a bunch of bells on a band. The old jingly bells. Oh, what the heck to think about that one? That's kind of weird. I see a little color dangling from there. Otherwise, I don't really see a whole lot. Actually, hold on. First of all, what's that teeny tiny piece? It kind of looks like a, like a vent or some kind of grate 
acting type piece. I don't know what to think of that one. Almost looks like some kind of filter or something. You can see the holes in there, like a little strainer. We cost the old fishing jig and I don't see a hook in there. So that's a junk jig. Then we had this thing on there, the old smushed up something. That's pretty heavy though. And then check this out, you guys. We had two of these things on there. I don't know what to think of these, but they are obviously the exact same thing. They got two little holes in them. Looks like you could bolt them onto something. You guys, this spot is just absolutely loaded with what seems like could be anything, man. Here we go. I feel like I was just rolling over something and it was like grabbing, but I, I grabbed something there, a couple somethings. You guys, is that another flipping lid? Oh, we got the old clam stuck in there. That is absolutely another one of them exact same lids. Only this one here, again, I do not see a handle on that one. Well, holy cow, it must've been opening all kinds of paint cans over here. Jeez. Plus, we also had this thing on there. I see the old hook loopy. I believe this is actually called like a tensioner or something like that. You hook this on one end and you hook this on one end and you can tighten it together and hold something in place. Pretty cool. Ow, what the heck was that? Oh, here we go. Right on the schmone. Right on the schmone. What's this? What's this gonna be? Oh, that's what it is. I got a fishing line tangled up in there. That's probably what snapped on my hand. Here we go. Dude, another big old ugly flat chunk of, oh, hold on. Look at what's dangling though, you guys. Look at this thing. Check that out. Is that a cock gun or what do you call those? The old grease pusher. Check that one out, you guys. Holy cow, I'm pretty sure you put your tube of grease in there and uh, that's how you would squeeze it out. Pretty cool. I think there's supposed to be a nozzle coming off of here like a hose too. Wow, that sucker's old, man. It feels like there's something still in there. Probably still got the can of grease in there and everything. Super cool, man. And we had a couple other things on there. The big old ugly, oh, stop, wait a minute. Hold on. I thought this was a big old ugly piece of scrap and it pretty much is at this point, but we can definitely see some letters on here. I see an M for sure, maybe a T. I have no clue what that says, but I'm sure the rest of it is probably still down there. And then we had this little thing on there, you guys. Look at that. I don't know if that's just some kind of cover. Like, does that go over the end of a bolt or a nut just to cover it up? Maybe it's like a war helmet for a toy soldier. Oh, here we go. What is that? Just a rock or what is, no, that's coming up. Oh boy, that's heavy. Yeah, what is this? Oh, we're already hitting the boat. That can't be good. What the, it's like a big tube. Or no, not a tube. What the, dude, <laughs> you guys, it's an exhaust. And if you remember last time, we found another exhaust here. Only the last one was like half of this size. This sucker's massive. Oh, my automotive experts, what the heck is this thing off of? Definitely an old one. I just, I, most throws I'm feeling weight. I swear, it's like I can't tell if I'm stuck on some weeds or something right away or if I got something. No, I got some. Again, whoa, look at this little bundle of stuff. Look at this thing, what is that? Some kind of little potato chip, I don't know. I'm gonna take a bite of that one. But look at, we got not one of those, we got two, couple scrap bits, but look at this little box. What is that? Is that like wire wrapped around this thing? I can't tell what's going on here. Let me wash this off quick. 
Oh, you guys, look at the center of this thing. Is that like coils wrapped around that? That's kind of what that looks like, like copper wire. I don't know what to think of that thing, you guys. Some kind of funky squish something with the, with the coil in the middle. what's that something just stuck oh 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 that's coming up what is this it like half floats when i let go like what the okay this is weird whoa and that's why look at what this is you guys we caught a giant barrel Oh no, it's not just any old barrel. Wow, look at this thing. It's one of them milk cartons. Now that's cool, you guys. Look at most of it is still there. It's missing a big chunk out of the side, but I mean, even the top is still on there. It's got one of the handles. Wow. Here we go. I got something the very next throw, you guys, right after the milk barrel. Is this another, like if I let go, it kind of half floats? It almost feels like it. Whoa, what's that? I don't want to lift that out of the water yet. Hold on. I can't even get my hand on it. Here we go. Whoa. What the heck is that? Look at this flipping thing. Oh. No way, check this out too. You guys, the last time we were out here, if you seen that video, we found two of this exact same type of thing here. It's like a little tin or a little container, but the other two were like way bigger than this one. This one's super small. It almost looks like a little Altoids container or something, but I thought the bigger ones might have been tobacco containers. So maybe that's what this is too, but I don't see any writing on there. Boy, that thing's old. But you guys, look at this thing. I thought that was like a wheel at first, but no, that looks like maybe some kind of umbrella stand i don't know man like you could put an umbrella in there that sucker's heavy what the heck could that even be that's definitely not a wheel there is so much stuff in this one corner you guys we're gonna fill up the cart now for the second time just in this corner Another something, Whoa, wow. Seriously, you can, you just can't not find something in this spot. Oh, what the, no, look at you guys. I just seen, first of all, I seen a big old bundle, I think a fishing line and at least one colored fishing lure in there. But look at this flipping thing, man. That's 100% a headlight. Is this all one piece? Oh no. Holy cow, you guys, it's like a yellow tinted glass. You can still see some of the red paint under there. Look at this flipping thing. Wow, that had to be off a super old car. Or is that off a car? I don't even know. Look at the bracket for that thing. You can still see the wires on there. Oh, and look at that, you guys. There's a stamp on there too. Look at what it says. US Pioneer 145. So again, some more automotive stuff. If there wasn't an automotive shop here, I would start to think there might be a vehicle down there. Turn the brights on, flash them. That's cool. And then there was this sucker on there. I thought this was part of the light at first, but uh, no. I don't know what that thing is. Definitely used to be something at one point, but that sucker is all bent up now. Oh, here we go. Something just plucked out of the mud. Show me the goodies. Oh, look at this, you guys. First of all, I see a little fishing rubber. No way, that hook is still shiny too. Oh yeah, that's definitely fishable. Boink, boink. 
But check this out. Is this a rolling pin? Oh no, you guys, you know what this is? I can tell what it is now. I think this is a shock. Again, off of a vehicle. But I don't quite know if something like that would hold up a vehicle. So who knows what this thing's coming off of. Bingo, you guys. First of all, check out the old fishing lure. That one's still got some hooks on there. Heck yeah. And the bill is still good. She's a little grimy, but this thing is still fishable. Oh, look at that. The old flicker shad. Number five. Heck yeah, you guys. Easily a $4 lure. But look at this thing. Is that like the inside of a clock or something? There's definitely some gears on there. So I don't know what that is, man. It's kind of smushed up. So it looks like it's hard to tell what it is. Oh, look at this thing. Oh, dude, look at this. First, I thought this was just a piece of random tubing, but if you look at like this part down there, does that not look like some kind of foot pedal? I would say like a gas pedal or something, but why is there like a tube in the middle of it? Womp, womp. I don't know, man, or some kind of stand for something. What do you think about that? something here it's coming out of the mud too so much of this stuff has to be plucked out of the mud you guys this stuff's been down there forever here we go oh oh i see wires i see wires yeah what is that no first of all you guys look there's another one of these flipping DuPont things. You gotta be kidding me. So this is now the third one and this one's definitely the worst condition out of all of them. But you guys, check this thing out. Oh, look at it from this side. It looks like a vent. This side almost looks like a speaker. Oh my goodness. Look at who's hiding up in there. What you doing, Frankie guy? Come on. Oh, he does not want to come out. Come on, come on. Try to help you, Frankie. There he is. Come on, Frankie. What you doing, muddy guy? You need a bath. Definitely electronic here. You can see the wires. You can see some of the coil up in there. Maybe that's just a super old school speaker. And check it out, you guys. We had two fish and lures on there. Looks like we got the yellow neon spinner here. That one needs a new hook. Otherwise, it's good to go. And then we had the walleye jig. And that hook is pretty shiny yet, man. Boom. That puts us up to three. Or wait, no, we got one hidden. We got four. Dude, another tin. Holy cow, what, what are these? None of them have a lid and they're all empty. So I don't know. We can't even figure out what was in them. And they're all different sizes. That's so weird. Ooh. Look at that. Again, that looks like some kind of strainer. It's got a bunch of holes in there. Got a couple little clips on there, so I don't know if it would like hook onto something. It looks like the cover for something. It's the old cheese grater. Now we just need some cheese. something there that stuck pretty good oh, oh my gosh and it's coming right up 
Whoa, what the? Whoa, dude, that smells like straight up oil. Holy cow, like hardcore. First I thought it might've been some kind of hubcap or maybe a fire pit ring, but that is heavy duty steel. So it's not like a light hubcap. And then this side, I don't know what those are, some kind of grippers? I don't know, man, this is a weird looking something. Got a couple holes in there. What do you think of that? Oh, that's a box. That's a box for sure. What is this? Oh, anything in it? That's definitely a box. Oh, there is something in it. What the heck is that? Uh, I don't know, man, but whatever they are, they look like they're in there in slots and they're bolted down. Like maybe you could pull these out individually and it looks like this whole section is missing even. The old mystery box. something whoa i thought it felt a little heavy look at that you guys look at this funky little clamp at the end what the heck is this i don't even know what to think of that looks like maybe some kind of handle up at the top and like it broke off of whatever this piece is that's pretty cool man i don't know what the heck would go in there <laughs> Oh my, something slapped and I think it's coming right with us. No kidding. What is this? Whoa, hold up. What the heck is that? I think, the, um, what the heck? Oh, look at this, you guys. I seen the white. I didn't know what the heck I was looking at, but I think this is like the leg off of maybe a table or something. You could see where it was bolted onto some kind of corner piece. The old white angled corner foot off of something. Oh, dad, what the? Look at this, dude. Oh my gosh, you guys, I think I know exactly what this is too. This one's not broken at all. It's got a couple dents in it, but that's it. I'm pretty sure this is like one of them lampshade type deals. Like this would go up on one of them street lights, like over there, I'm sure from back in the day, this doesn't look new at all. And your light bulb would come right through the bottom and meow. Oh, 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 tied up in my legs. I'm gonna send myself to the bottom of the river. I just, this is mind blowing, you guys. This is the second time we've absolutely filled the cart, we're stacking the boat full, and we have not even left this corner yet. Speaking of juicy, what do we got there? Something, it's coming up. Come to Papa. Why is it like under the boat? What is going on here? Oh, what? is that oh my gosh oh look at what it is man you can see the opening this is a 55 gallon drum lid and there's literally nothing left of it but the lid some more evidence that they were obviously just tossing greasy oil barrels in the river not good What is going on here? Oh my gosh, you guys, look at what this is. This is the ring for a 55 gallon drum. This is like the locking mechanism. I'm almost positive. Yep, like this should open somehow, probably not gonna anymore, but this would open up, this would go around the lid of the 55 gallon drum and then you could tighten it and close it. They must've tossed a lot of these suckers in there. That's crazy. And then we had another little something here with some paint on it, you guys. 
I don't know what to think of that, but that's not your old paint lid. Hey, speaking of paint lid, let me see one of those. Does that fit? No, this is way too big. Oh, you know what I just thought about? Is this a lid for the milk container? Maybe, maybe not, but it almost fits like perfectly, dude. Huh. I thought there was something on there, you guys. If I can get a hold of it. Yes, I got it. Aha. Now this has got to be one of them containers for the lids that we've been catching. Oh, oh my God. Dude, no, 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 no. You guys, look at what's in here. First of all, I don't know what all of that stuff is. There's like like chips or something in there. Maybe that's where all their, these chips are coming from. But dude, there is a friggin' of crawfish in there that is literally bigger than I have ever seen before. You see him in there? That's the Mac Daddy, dude. He'll pinch your finger off. He's probably been living in here for five, 10 years. Wow. Look at the size of that thing, man. I don't even know if I want to risk getting pinched by that guy. The old Mac Daddy, Frankie. <laughs> Holy cow. But you guys, I don't know if you can really see because of the sunlight here. I'm going to dump some of this out. It's like just a bunch of little chips of stuff. I don't even know what to think of them. Look it. We've pulled up a couple of these separately on the magnet, but I don't know what to think of them. They're like little caps for something. And this here for sure looks like one of the buckets that this lid might be for. Yeah, look at you guys, that almost fits like perfectly. Check it out, if it wasn't all busted up, I think that's what this might be for. Yep, and if you look, this is blue too, just like this lid, this might be the one for it. Holy smokes, you guys, another absolutely crazy day here. This is the second time we absolutely filled the cart, loaded the boat. We still don't know what the heck was all going on here, but we're finding a bunch of the lids and now we found the cans for it. A lot of fun funky stuff going on here you guys there's got to be tons left because again you guys it did not take long at all to fill this cart up it's almost like stuff is stacked in layers in here it's insane and again we have not even left this corner no doubt we definitely got to come back in the future you guys but that is gonna wrap it up for today i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here if you enjoyed this video Please make sure to hit that thumbs up button for me. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. Make sure to stay tuned and I will catch you on the next one.